In this clip, we're going to talk about cutting the sponges that you're going to be using for the faux finish. You've got your grout color painted now, and as you'll notice, it looks kind of dark. But you must remember that this is just this little line that you're going to see. This is all going to be covered over, with the exception of the grout lines, by your matching paint. So don't let this scare you when you see it and it looks a little dark, or maybe it doesn't look exactly the way you think it might, might look. We're now ready to go on to actually doing the faux finish. As I mentioned before, uh, this particular tile is composed of little squares. Uh, the tile that you have at home may be bigger squares. You may actually even have a sheet product such as marble or granite where you don't have the grout lines. But for this particular application, we do have the grout lines and we do have little squares. So we're going to use sponges because it does have that texture that matches the stone. And these are very, very inexpensive. So once again, invest a dollar or so uh, and be prepared to cut them up and use several of them. If you have extras that, uh, that you've taken to the craft store to match your paint, you can just select one and get your size because you are, remember, you're going to be matching this stone with the paint. You want to duplicate this stone by your, by your faux finish technique. And you're going to cut your sponge to match your stone as closely as you can. And it would be good if these were fresh sponges, you know, the kinds that you take out of the bag and they're actually soft to use. Because once you start using your paint, you're going to want to wrap around your, your plate in order to duplicate the stones that you've covered. When you're done with this product, you want these stones to look like they're running right with your other stones that are on your wall. So when you put your paint on, you're going to wrap your sponge around it and apply your paint. And that's how you get the perfect match of the stones that are already put onto your backsplash. So, now that we've cut our sponges, we're ready to mix some paint and actually use the faux finish technique.